How's it going guys? Wookie Legend here. Welcome home. Today's how-to guide uh, for beginners is on the European destroyers. They're kind of a hybrid. They are gunboats slash torp boats and at the same time they have no smoke. So they're a little bit interesting to play. You got to be kind of aggressive and patient at the same time. Uh, an interesting kind of mix but if you get the hang of these you will pretty much get the hang of any destroyer due to the fact that they have no smoke so this engagement is hard uh but not impossible now first we go with our captain uh the first 10 points we have 10 points right now we'll go with the usual suspects normally i would say survivability expert to get enough uh to get that bonus xp because when you're in an engagement, especially with no health, you're going to need that little bit of extra XP. Even though they recommend Torps, uh, Torp Reload, which is actually very important because uh, you're going to be using your Torps more than half the time. Um, they are a fast reload and they're fast Torps. So for this um, tier, 68 knots is very fast and 55 seconds is very fast on its own also. Um, you're competing with a lot of other destroyers that uh, can't handle that. So you're focusing on torps and you're focusing on guns. So I, instead of health, um, maybe at the beginning do health if you're not comfortable. But then I would say get a little bit more uh, reload. Oops, that's that. One, one more, one more. And uh, get yourself concealment because uh, the better concealment... The, uh, the more you survive. Now, six isn't ideal because I know there's ships at five, four here. So we're, we're going to have to play with that. We're going to have to play with that. We go to equipment, right? I have uh, maintenance. I have uh, engine room and I have the torpedo speed and traverse uh, for the two launchers. I also have everything upgraded. Uh, it is a gunboat, so you want this upgraded. You want this also upgraded because then you get... Um, well, faster torps and uh, faster reload. Always start with your hull B. And remember, you can always sell these and get some extra credits back. You're going to get half back. So in order to do that, we get to go up here into the inventory. Just a quick reminder. I want you guys to always be aware of this. This is something that will happen all the time. Just scroll down. You're going to see where it says Visby coming up here any second now. Any second, there it is. So hall A, we sell it. We already have hall B. There's 75k. That's half of what it's worth. Gone. Scroll down a little bit more. There's the uh, guns. We already had the upgrade, and there are the torpedoes. We already have the upgrade. You just sell that and sell that, and we made back quite a lot of credits, especially for a new player. We go to our exterior. Make sure we have our Sierra mic because we need that speed. We get the Julia Whiskey, because we need that um, blood chance. And we get our Charlie, uh, Julia Charlie, just in case uh, we, we decide to explode. India X-Ray is also good, because then it helps us, uh, you know, with that fire chance. Uh, and that's about it. Make sure to have your camo on. Always have a camo on. And uh, we get to start. Now, with this one, it's, I it's ideal to have a buddy that's playing a destroyer also. It, it, uh, it plays really well with other destroyers. You can use their smoke, but you can also gun and torp really quickly, which is ideal for a destroyer buddy. But learning and understanding how to play this, you can also play it by yourself, and it, 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 uh, it does very well. It does very well for this tier. We're going to be playing against other Visby, so we know that our, our detection is the same. And then there's a German destroyer. If you learn other detections, you'll know if you have better detection than him. Um, I can potentially outgun them all just from the experience I have. The cruisers, obviously, we can't. The battleships, obviously, we can't. And then there's a CV that's going to spot us. And we do not have smoke. So we need to keep that in mind when they come at us. When to turn on your AA and when to turn it off. Turn it off right away. It's off. A plane can spot me at 2.4 kilometers. So I'm not going to turn on my AA until 2.4 kilometers. And then as the plane's leaving, I turn it off as soon as he leaves 2.4 kilometers. And it tells you when the planes are flying at you how far away they are. Now, I'm going to move myself into a position where I'm going to counter these destroyers. 
And I'm there's also two caps. So I'm gonna play defense. I'm at the top, I'm playing defense. This is our cap. So I'm not gonna push as far as I want to normally. Normally there would be three caps, and I'll be contesting them. I'm still gonna be contesting here. I need to spot for my team. My team needs to shoot everything I spot. Now, are they gonna stick around and do that? I don't know. So we need to be um a little bit aggressive when it comes to spotting, but then instantly leaving because I don't want to die myself. Now, I see already that the enemy team's pushing kind of towards the middle, so I'm going to position myself towards the middle so I can actually torp them right away. I'm going to have my guns ready. I'm going to preemptively turn them because one of the deities is going to be right here. He's going to go forward and he's going to try to spot me. As soon as he does, I don't have smoke. Remember that. So I need to know... Win potentially would be the best time for me. Mark him, because he's almost dead. Mark him, mark him, mark him. And get Torps ready. He's going to try to get behind this island. So I'm going to preemptively dump Torps. Just to make sure. Uh oh, he's about to spot me. He does for a split second. I'm okay. And I go dark. Now what needs to happen is... I need to double back... Because they're pushing forward really aggressively, I'm not going to push back back that way. I'm just going to go back around the island. I'm going to get my guns ready because uh, we're, we're going to have a fight with this guy. Our Emil's here. He's going to help. And I'm here to help also. If this guy stops, he doesn't. No, he does stop. He doesn't want to come around. All right. Here we go. We're going to go back around. We're going to use our speed boost. And we're going to keep pinging these cruisers. These cruisers need to die. Now, they know where we were. They don't know where we're going. There's a DD up here. We're going to have to go find him before our Fuso dies. Now, our Fuso needs to stop pushing. We're going to keep telling him to get back. Because there's no need for him to go forward. He has the range. He can shoot the guys all the way to the back. Okay, good. He listened. He listened to get back because uh, here come the torps. So I have to get in front quickly and spot at this DD for our team. Now, because those torps are short, I know that this was either the German destroyer, which I believe it is, or the Visby at far range. Here comes one of their battleships. He's sailing straight. Okay, they got rid of the cruiser and he thinks. Okay, spotted. This is actually ideal right now to be spotted because he's going to start shooting me, not my battleships. And the other DD is going to be afraid to push up because he knows I'm here now. Now, this guy deviated right away. That means he's aware of obviously what I'm doing. As in, I'm right here in front of him. He's going to want to do something about it. I'm angling to the cruiser. And I'm watching him firing at me. Now my torps are almost ready. Because they're fast reload. I get to see where he is. I'm going to judge. I might have time to actually hit him. They are fast torps. He is kind of slow. And he's on a turn. So I want to shoot them on the inside of that. Because he's still turning. Because he's still turning. That indicator can turn in even more. Now they are at the max range. They might not make, make it to him. We went dark, but we're going to push up now again, because we need to get in front of this destroyer. This guy needs to get back also. A lot of players like to go forward and be aggressive. And the problem with that is that cruiser can't handle these two battleships. He can't handle the two battleships, so he doesn't need to be there. And guess who's going to spot him first? The destroyer. Now, we haven't spotted the destroyer yet. This, this destroyer is playing very elusive. We almost have our torps ready again, and we're in a closer position now. Now we're getting spotted again. Which is okay. We say, hey, help again. He's going to pull away again because he sees me. And then look, we went dark instantly. There's a the German destroyer. He's way in the back. We don't have to worry about him now. We don't have to worry about him. This guy, we know that he's afraid of us. Every time he spots us, he leaves. So we're going to use that as an advantage. We're going to push them back. Right? Now I'm keeping an eye on the minimap. I see that there's a DD coming. There's one right there. So he's going to sneak up on that Fuso. So what happens is I'm going to have to leave these guys. Those good Torbs? Oh, those look really good. Those look really good. I'm going to leave these guys and go back to help with the DD. 
I'm not worried about these guys. Now, these Torps are fast, and they have a fast reload, but they don't do a lot of damage. So, don't expect a lot. And that's okay. Oh, you know what's happening? This guy's AFK, and it's the other Visby that's out here doing this. Now, this Emil, I, I can't stop him. He's gonna just do what he's doing. Um, he's gonna get killed, but at least he's gonna get the the DD. Well, actually, he's not gonna get the DD. <laughs> that's okay. This guy's going off again forward. Here's a problem that I can't stop. I know the Visby's right there. Look what the Visby's about to do. Because this guy's spotted. He's spotted from the moon. And he's now going to eat damage that he doesn't need to. There's the Visby. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm going to use my speed boost and my heal. Let's get back into shape. Okay, he's leaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not go around and follow. Baron's out of the picture. So we just want to push forward. We want to get in front of this guy to spot all the Torps. We want to say again. Get back. We just want him to get back. That's all we want him to do. We need him alive. Now the the ships are the planes are coming, so we're gonna actually open up our AA and help him out with as much AA as possible. We want him to be healthy for the end fight. Their team is half dead already. That doesn't mean our team can't die. Now I am spotted. The Visby knows I'm here now, but this will hopefully keep him away from our battleship and because I'm spotting him we're just gonna open up just right now this is where the gunboat portion of the DD comes in we can actually outgun a lot of things by knowing where we're going preemptively turning our guns so they're ready and now I don't have to torp him there's no need but see I'm spotting the torps for him he's already safe I don't need to worry about it anymore. Keep gunning him down. This guy's not paying attention to me. But I'm getting chip damage, which is what we need. And he wasn't paying attention. Torps came in. Thank again someone that whoever did it. Doesn't matter who. We thank them. Turn off our AA, because here comes AA. The gate is now alive. Here's the problem with the gate. He's coming at me with no health. And he's spotted. Our battleships are doing what they want to do. That's fine. They can do what they want to do. Let's help out with that. Even if we don't get it, we shot just in case. There, we got it. There's a battleship. He's left alone. We're not spotted. He's too far away. Now, here's what's something that happens all the time in this game. Instead of people going into the cap and making the enemy team have a chance of losing on cap points, let alone having to come and contest you. A lot of players just go for everything. They're like, oh, look, we're already winning. Let's just go out there and go kill them all, right? We can easily do it. We outnumber them. This is where winning harder is a big thing in the game. You don't want to do that. I know you're going to get like 10 more XP, but it's not worth you dying and them killing someone else and then killing someone else and then killing someone else. And somehow the game just turns around on you and you lose. Hardest part of this game is winning. Because you're playing with a bunch of random strangers that you don't know what they know. And you don't know what they're capable of. Now this guy's going to keep backing up. There, I'm spotted. I'm going to actually open up a little. Maybe cause a fire. He's looking at me now. He fires. Completely misses. That's fine. Try to get him in there. Uh, they might hit the island. That's fine. As long as I'm throwing torps at him. He's going to eventually like back up. And he's going to continue backing up. Going to get in front here. I want to spot for my team. So then they can shoot them. King. The, the cruiser first. I don't care about the CV yet. CV is full health. We need the cruiser dead. Because the cruiser is going to kill me. CV is not going to kill me. We're going to stop here. We're within torpedo range. 18 seconds left. And now we wait. We still got two torpedoes on the ice. And he, had, and he got a flood. Three torpedoes actually on him, and he got a flood. He isn't damage conning. You can see your numbers go up. If your numbers are going up, that means you either have a fire still on someone, if he's not spotted, or he's flooding. When the numbers stop, that means that flood is gone. He he, he cleaned it. He cleaned it. Now, he's coming at us. We could dump torps on him. But we, we need him dead, because he's the one that's going to come around the corner killing us. CB's not going in there. I'm spotting him for our team. 
Right. Gonna dump Torps a little bit in front, because he is speeding up. Here comes the smoke. We can fire now at him a little bit. Oh boy. Well, we're gonna use our friend to get hit. <laughs> That's okay. Our detection right now is 2.4. He is within 2.4. So what we're gonna do is just wait. We're just gonna wait. Got his guns ready. Nope. He's dead. We open up. And this is how you play your European destroyers, guys. You gotta be aggressive enough to spot, but then you need to know when to pull back because you do not have the smoke to cut um, them spotting you. So it's 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 no win to be aggressive just to spot so your team is there. F3 to point out the target that's closest to you that you need to be dead. And, and, and then just leave. And then go back and do it again. And then leave. Pay attention to the minimap. Put yourself in a position where you're going to constantly counter their destroyers. That's what you do with this. You counter their destroyers. You don't have, you don't have enough damage to do with your torps on battleships to outright kill them. Full health, so you're there to pick damage and put dots on ships and counter them. That's the best way to play the European destroyers. Um, and then just be a map aware. Be map aware of what's in front of you and what you could do damage to and what you can't. Know when to shoot your guns and when not to, right? Uh, that Visby that was running away, he wasn't even paying attention to us, so why not shoot? There was nothing else around. I was maintaining that on the map. I knew what was around me. I knew what would shoot back at me. There was nothing there, so I opened up. And I knew the CV wasn't coming after me because he had other targets to go after. And that's what he was doing. So, even if he came after me, that means I'm taking the CV away from him attacking my teammates. It's a good thing. It's not always a bad thing. Don't always think that the CV attacking you is a bad thing. You're keeping him distracted. Your teammates are free to do stuff that they normally wouldn't be able to do to the CV being there. Finished fourth. We did our part. We kept our team alive. That's what matters. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, have yourself a, a fantastic day. Happy December. I'll be back again in two days with another video. Hopefully, this helped you guys um, kind of understand these destroyers. Um, they have a hard punch. But more frequently than not... Uh, due to the reload and uh, and the speed of the torps, um, they, they don't do a lot of damage. Remember that they only do six thousand two hundred each torp. Now, if you land them all, great. You're gonna do a big, significant chunk. But you're gonna have to do it maybe twice, maybe even three times. Okay. And don't forget to use your guns. Uh, they're kind of your bread and butter when it comes to dealing with other destroyers. You have a triple set of two. Actually, this is a single. Huh. Five barrels. Make sure to use them more than your torps. But when you can, definitely torp. Definitely torp. Um, yeah. Other than that, have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe.